Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today we will learn chapter 8 physical optics. So in this video, we are going to continue discuss on the subtopic of 8.6 diffraction grating. So before we go to the example, so we, we go through first the summary for the diffraction grating. So basically for diffraction grating, okay, it only involves constructive. Okay, so the diffraction grating is a glass slide with a large number of equally spaced parallel slip. So the light is diffracted by the narrow slip and the light that will emerge from the slip then produces an interference. Okay, so the equations that we will use for diffraction grating is constructive. Eh? D sin theta equals to n lambda where n is equal to plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3. And D here, the value here is actually a slip separation. Where D here, usually we use it, eh? D is equal to length per lines. Okay, whereas N here is equal to lines per unit length. Okay, so it depends on what is the information they give you. Eh? If let's say they give you 100 lines per millimeter okay meaning that they give you the value for n eh? because it's 100 lines per millimeter is line per unit length okay and the next equations that we will use here is the maximum number of the bright fringe so usually when the question mentioned the maximum number of the bright fringe that can be observed usually is theta equals to 90 degree okay so from the equations where d sine theta Okay, d sin theta equals to n lambda. Okay, we if let's say maximum fringes meaning that the theta here must equal to 90 degree or equal to 1. Okay, therefore the number of um, fringes, the, the maximum number of the fringes that we can observe is equal to d over lambda. Okay, so this is the second equation that we will use. Okay, so after finding the number of n, okay, remember the n here is only represent one side. So we must consider both sides. So when we consider both sides, meaning that we must times 2. Okay, so n plus n and remember to plus 1. Okay, so plus 1 here is the central bright. Okay, so usually for maximum uh, maximum fringes, we need to consider the central bright. So total up, if let's say n is equal to 2, total up is 2 plus 2 plus 1. Uh, so you will observe 5 maximum fringes. Okay, so this is uh, diffraction grating equation. So let us go to the example. Example 13, a monochromatic light of the wavelength 600 nanometer incident normally on the diffraction grating. So the angle sustained by the first order maximum light is 30 degree. Okay, so here first order maximum light actually is for both sides. Okay, if let's say this is the diffraction grating. Okay, and for both sides where m equals to 1. Okay, when m equals to 1, the angle between first order is 30 degree. Okay, so this is 30 degree. Okay, therefore, the angle is actually 15. Eh? If let's say you want to use the angular width to find. Okay, calculate the number of the lines per cm. So line per cm here meaning that we want to find n. Okay, we want to find n eh, because it's lines per length okay so we want to find n and we know that what is the relationship between n and d okay d is equal to 1 over n okay so we can use the equation d sine theta equals to n lambda to find okay so d sine theta remember theta here is 15 eh? okay because we only take one side eh? we cannot take both sides and n is equal to 1 because it's first order and the lambda here is 600 nanometer okay so d also can equal to 1 over n so i can change d equals to 1 over n okay therefore n is the number of line per cm is equal to 4.31 exponent 5 lines per meter Okay, but the question asks us to convert it into cm. Eh? Therefore, it's equals to 4.31 exponent 3 lines per cm. Okay, so this is the answer for the number of lines per cm. Okay, B. What is the angle between the first order and the second order maximum line? 
Okay, now we want to find the angle between. Okay, angle between the first order maximum and the third or and the second order maximum. Okay, so meaning that if let's say. Okay, meaning that if let's say this is the central bright. Okay, and this is the first order. This is the second order. We want to find the angle between them. Okay, meaning that we want to find the angle delta theta. Okay, where here n is equal to one. N is equal to 2. Okay, so what should we do is actually we can find theta 2, we can find theta 1, and then minus. So the delta theta here is actually equal to theta 2 minus theta 1. Okay, so before that we must find first what is the angle for theta 2 and what is the angle for theta 1. Okay, so here we notice that actually theta 1 is 15. Eh? Okay, so we need to find theta 2. So we can use d sine theta 2 equals to 2 lambda. Okay, so you substitute in the value where sine theta 2. Okay, this one d I can change into 1 over n. Eh? Okay, you substitute in 2 and the wavelength is 600 nanometer. Therefore, our theta 2 here is equal to 31.1 degree. Okay, so we will take. 31.1 degree minus theta 1. Uh, theta 1 is actually the first maximum. Okay, where it's equal to 15. Uh, here, 15. Okay, this is the first maximum. So it's minus 15 degree. Therefore, the angle between the first order and the second order maximum line is equal to 16.1 degree. Okay. Okay, next example 14. A diffraction grating with 600 lines per millimeter. 600 lines per millimeter here is actually n eh? because n is lines per unit length. Okay, so actually they give you the information of n. Eh? It's illuminated normally with the monochromatic wavelength of 589 nanometer. So number one, calculate the angle of the first order and second order maximum line from the zero order maximum. So we want to find the angle for first order and second order. Eh? Okay, not between them, eh? not the angle between them. Okay, so we just want to find theta 1 and theta 2. So we can use the equation d sine theta 1 equals to 1 lambda. Okay, so we can substitute in uh, sine theta 1 is equal to 1 lambda. 589 nano and d here because here they give us the, the value for n eh? so we can we notice that actually d is equal to 1 over m so we can substitute in length is millimeter so it's 1 exponent negative 3 and the number of line is actually 600 okay because uh, n is equal to line per length so d is equal to length per line Okay, so length here is 1 millimeter, so I convert it into meter, 1 exponent negative 3, and the line here is 600 line. Okay, so we can substitute in, uh, we will get the value. Okay, D here is 1 exponent negative 3 over 600. Okay, so therefore the theta 1, we will get the answer is 20.7 degree. Okay. Then theta 2, similar D sine, theta 2 equals to 2 lambda eh, because it's second order. So n is equal to 2. So again, we substitute in 1 exponent negative 3 over 600 times sine theta 2 equals to 2 lambda 589 exponent 9. Okay, therefore, theta 2, we will get 45 degree. Okay, okay next, B. Find the number of order that can be observed. So the number of order, meaning that the maximum fringes that we can observe here, usually we assume that theta must equal to 90 degree. Okay, maximum fringe we can observe. Okay, so again, D sine 90 degree equals to N lambda. So now we want to find the number of N. Okay, so since sine 90 degree is uh, equals to 1 so we can cancel off the value uh, because it's equals to 1 okay it's equals to 1 therefore n maximum is equals to d over lambda okay so you substitute in you will get d uh, is 1 exponent negative 3 over 600 
and lambda is 5, 8, 9, exponent negative 9. Okay, therefore, the number of order that we can observe is 2.8. Okay, so 2.8 we cannot run off because uh, third order haven't appeared yet. Okay, so we cannot take equals to 3. Okay, so the maximum fringes that we can observe is only 2. Okay, so I write here, it's equals to 2 only. And remember, we have both sides. So the number or the maximum order that can be observed, okay, can be observed, okay, is equal to 2 plus 2 plus 1, uh, where 1 is actually central bright. So the maximum number that we can observe is actually equal to 5. Okay, so the answer here is 5. So that's all for this topic. We will start with a new chapter, chapter 9. See you on next video. Bye.